war. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself, for my wife, for my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Hey, my turn, big guy. Let me just slide in here. Nice haircut. Hmm, this new haircut's really working for me. I wasn't sure, but I like the beard. Sir, your coffee, 173.5 degree Fahrenheit, brewed to perfection, and today's news.
Grognak the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. My favorite. Hmm. More of the same. Nuka Cola. Ice cold. Looks like the milk got delivered. Saddle up Salisbury steak. Graded A. Plus. Hmm. You know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. Sugar bombs. 100% daily value of sugar. Hun. We should take Codsworth to be service soon, don't you think? Can you get that? It's probably that salesman. He comes for you every day. Something that is unquestionably, inescapably American. And referring, of course, to our great national pastor. Good morning! Vault Tech calling. Vault Tech? Remind me again? Why, we're about you, sir, and helping secure your future. You see, Vault Tech is the foremost builder of state-of-the-art underground fallout shelters. Vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, sir, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, the big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid, and coming sooner than you may think, if you catch my meaning. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time, time being a, uh, mm -hmm, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Go away. Won't take but a moment. We do need to verify some information to make sure you're cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of <coughs> total atomic annihilation. Uh, come back some other time. Come on, hon. It's just a little paperwork. Let him fill it out, and it's done. I said no. And I'm saying yes. So there. Splendid. Splendid. Let's get to it. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Mr. Josh, Sean has been changed. But he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. You heard Codsworth. Go on. How are the 
two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. How's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir, Mom, you should come and see this. Codsworth, what's wrong? Followed by, yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. Sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with saying? our affiliate stations. We do. Oh, we man. do have. We do have coming in. That's um, confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh my God. We. We need to get to the vault. Now! I've got Sean. Let's go. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. to get in. We're on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good luck, ma'am. You too. Follow God me. Come all. on. What's going to happen to all those people outside We're the doing gate? Everything we can. Now keep moving. Step on this the way. platform in the center. Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my god! Hold on! We did it. We made it. We're okay. Everyone please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we left a minute later... No, We'd no, all be. don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Everyone, just head up these stairs and through the door all there. Deck is here for you. Just this way. Please. All new residents. This way. Please proceed in an orderly fashion. Mail. This way, please. Mail. Welcome home. This way. Just this way. Mail. Step over to the table and take a seat. Okay. Those are good. Female. Welcome. Pick up a suit right over there. Here you Just are. Step over Head down the, the hall there. You'll need your suits before we can take you further. Uh, thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. See? This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, Take mind you. Take a seat, then head down the hall. It's gone. Our home. Everything Sir? we had. My mother and father down in D.C. How, how long what do you think we'll be it? down here? I know oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical it's items we have to get everyone else to list to be they come in. As well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Such a lovely family you have. 
hope you'll see this as your new home. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Shh. Can you come here? The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. Time for a whole new life. has to be a release! Come on, come on, come on! Oh, God! I'll find who did this. And I'll get Sean back. I promise. Giant roaches? 
What the hell? Where is everyone? Is this all that's left? somewhere.
Is anyone alive? Did anyone get out? Oh, God.
Codsworth. What happened to the world? Uh, well, sir. Well, besides our geranium still being the envy of Sanctuary Hills, I'm afraid things have been dreadfully dull around here. Things will be so much more exciting with you and Mrs. Beck. Where is your better half, by the by? They... They killed her. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? He's gone. God damn it. Someone took him. Someone stole my son. It's worse than I thought. Mm -hmm. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> 200 years? What? I... Are you... A, a bit over 210, actually, sir. Or oh, give or take a little. For the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack? <laughs> you must be famished. Codsworth, you're acting... a little bit weird. What's wrong? I... I... Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets our nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing. And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. <laughs> and the car, the car. How do you polish rust? What do you know, Codsworth? Uh, I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were... dead. I did find this hollow tape. I, I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. Thank you, Codsworth. You're, you're welcome. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The Mrs. and young Sean may turn up yet. Have you seen anything dangerous? Oh, just the usual, sir. Pesky neighborhood dogs and mosquitoes. Shall I investigate? All right. Lead the way. Proud to serve, sir! <laughs> Sean and I need to tell you how great of a father you are. But we're going to anyway. Isn't that right? You are kind and loving. <laughs> and funny. That's right. And patient. So patient. Patience of a saint, my mom used to say. Look, with Sean and us all being home together, it's been an amazing year. But even so, I know our best days are yet to come. Mm, there'll be changes, sure. Things we need to adjust to. You'll rejoin the civilian workforce and 
I'll shake the dust off my law degree. But everything we do, no matter how hard, we do it for our family. Now, say goodbye, Sean. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Come on. <laughs> Bye, honey. We love you. What's all this? Not this time. Senses are picking up movement in another house. Follow me! Picking up hostile life sign. Codsworth. Mr. Josh, the missus, and young Sean, they aren't here. Thanks for trying, Codsworth. You can't give up, sir. What about the city? Concord is nearby, and, well, the people there have only shot at me a few times. There are still people alive in Concord? Yes, although they're a bit rough. You remember the way? Just across the southern footbridge, out of the neighborhood, and past the Red Rocket Station? I shall remain here and secure the home trust. Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? You lose your owner, buddy. Okay, then. Let's stick together. Hey. Head over there.
Locks really strong. Raiders are almost through the door. Grab that laser musket and help us, please! 